Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to our channel, Dayton Squad. My name is Addie. So for today's video is quite interesting because one of the Okta Research Group says that Omicron is the beginning of the end of COVID-19 pandemic. Hmm, really? So let's find out about it. Details coming with. <laughs> So, Father Nicanor Ostracio said last Wednesday, this was yesterday, January the 5th, that Omicron variant is the beginning of the end of the COVID-19 pandemic. So, it's quite interesting when he made that statement and I will be reading you guys the full details of that statement. Why did he say that? And it would really be nice if Omicron will really kill delta and other you know other variant of covid 19 so we can get back to our lives it may not be the usual normal life that we have gotten used to before the pandemic but at least we can move on from covid 19 pandemic so let's get started i'm not gonna let you guys wait anymore it's quite exciting that he said this because it shows hope that after all this chaos can we finally move forward? Okta Research fellow Father Nicanor Ostracio said on Wednesday, January 5th, that the corona disease COVID-19 variant Omicron is the beginning of the end of the pandemic. Ostracio made the statement during a Go Negosho town hall meeting where he shared a study that showed that those who survived the Omicron variant gained antibodies that protected them not only against Omicron, but also the Delta, Gamma, Beta, Alpha, and the D614G, which was one of the earliest variant that caused a spike in COVID-19 cases in the Philippines in 2020. Wow, I did not know that they have that many variant already. <laughs> to be honest, when they say COVID-19, I only think there's one and when they started doing this variant thing, I did not even realize that they have already few more variants before Omicron and Delta. So let's proceed with this statement. We have to realize that Omicron is the beginning of the end of the pandemic because Omicron is going to provide the kind of population immunity that should stabilize our societies and should allow us to reopen he said that would be nice if this omicron is our key to reopen the philippines for our foreign tourists if this omicron is going to be the key to open our borders once more bring it on i know it's going to have a surge again but like they said this should be mild this should be treatable manageable during isolation so let's get this done so we can move forward this is the hope and the prayer the omicron is actually a blessing it will be hard for one month but afterwards it should be a blessing because it should provide the population protection that we need everywhere he added he reminded, however, the things finding is not a reason to be careless and risk one's own health as well as the well-being of others. The Octa Fellow said that they are also hoping that the country will also follow after South Africa. He said that what will happen is that the number of cases will reach so high that the virus will run out of food. He mentioned that a surge goes down because the virus runs out of food. I know it sounded funny, but I did not know that the virus actually eats. But I know in scientific terms, they are saying that. And I know they have more explanation to it. Sorry, I can't resist myself because it sounded funny when I was reading it. So let's proceed. So as the virus rapidly increases, it's going to try to spread to everyone and it's going to try to find as many of our Kababayans who are vulnerable. It seems it's spreading so rapidly. What you will expect is it will run out of food sooner, he said. 
Ostrasher explained that this can be seen in South Africa where numbers are crashing and in London where numbers are beginning to fall only because once it's spread like wildfire but when all the trees are burned there's no more from nowhere for it to go. The Octa Fellow said that they are also hoping it will last only about a month in Metro Manila but for now it's hard to know what will happen. The country should then expect very high numbers of COVID-19 cases, but he stated that the public should not be scared of these numbers. No shit. The numbers are so high right now. I think today they log 17,700 positive cases of COVID-19. So... It should be expected, according to Ostasio, the most of these cases will be mild and that there will be fewer hospitalizations and deaths. We should expect a very rapid increase. We should expect this, but this is a good sign because if it goes up very quickly, it finds all the food it can find. It will also rapidly decelerate. This is our hope and we should not panic. We should not expect a lockdown in the National Capital Region or NCR unless our hospitals become overwhelmed. And this is really important because a lot of people are going to see the large numbers and they're going to want the lockdown, he said. He added that in order to save lives, the government must protect the hospitals and so long as hospitals are not overwhelmed, especially the intensive care unit then there will be no need for lockdowns like the ones in 2020 as granular lockdowns would suffice. What should be done, Ustasio mentioned, is to suppress mobility in order to protect the hospitals. Further, those who are sick are expected to stay at home. So Father Nicanor Ostrasio has really made a lot of points with his statement when it comes to the variant Omicron and he gave a lot of hope to a lot of Filipinos especially to those who've been wanting to come back to the Philippines for a long time it's like this has been going on for almost two years now or three years so I think it's time to move forward and I think it's time to live with the virus because this is not going anywhere and it's quite interesting because from all the updates the octa research group has made this one update has made a lot of sense and i'm really hoping he's right about this prediction that the omicron is the beginning of the end of covid19 pandemic so we will watch we will see how it goes in the next few days because he said this should last this month and this surge of Omicron should last until the end of this month. So I'll keep you guys posted and we shall see if his prediction on his statement today is true or not. I'm really hoping it's true because a lot of people will be so happy when we can finally move on to our new world this is our quick update for today guys thank you so much for watching if you have any questions concerns and inquiries with regards to this video or any of our travel related videos please comment it down below and i will get back to you guys as soon as i can or you can direct message me in our Facebook page and Instagram, same handle, The Ethan Squad. Again, I thank you all for continuously watching our latest travel updates to the Philippines. For continuously supporting our channel, The Ethan Squad. And I really appreciate the trust. It means a lot to us. I hope to see you guys on our next travel update. Stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless everyone. Bye.